Hey guys, Rob Shoegraph here with Restore Fitness. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple different concepts, a couple different ways you can use your fat grips to improve your grip, improve your forearm strength and size without really even, even trying. Um, first of all, if you're not familiar with fat grips, I highly recommend you buy some. They're 40 bucks, which is a lot to pay for a piece of heavy duty rubber, but if you've ever looked at the price of like actual fat grip barbells and dumbbells, they're stupid expensive. And this does just about every bit as good of a job. And they're portable and extremely versatile and lightweight. And it's just worth the for it's just worth the money. It's flat out. There's really no 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 other way to put it. Um, <clears throat> so pay it and buy them. So once you have them, how can you use them? Well, there are a number of different like fat grip like exercises you could do that are that you're doing them because they're grip specific for instance you know easy curl bar you can throw it on there um, uh, hammer curls uh, you could do uh, deadlifts with the grip uh, with these on there um, which a lot of those are going to be careful how I say this you're gonna kind of take away from the lift a little bit at least in its original utilization uh, in its original sense for instance Deadlifts are a great example. If you're doing uh, fat grip deadlifts, you're not going to be able to pull as much. In fact, you're, not gonna, you're barely going to be able to pull. I think a lot of people are probably lucky to pull 60, 70% of what their regular lift is with a two and a half inch diameter bar. Um, so you're not going to get all the same sort of benefits as loading up as you would loading up heavy for the, you know, the hamstrings and the glutes and the whole posterior chain, the core even. But your grip will get a great workout. Um, in my opinion, I think you're almost better off doing like farmer carries or something like that. If you just if you just want to do just work your grip and still get some of the benefits of of uh, the strength benefits and other muscles as well. But um, <clears throat> yeah, what I want to talk about is what I do, how I use my fat grips when I'm not doing like extra actual grip work, for instance. So two real simple things. I just do them, I do them on exercises that aren't going to rob from the other muscles. That's a terrible way to put it. Let me just give you the two examples of what I want to talk about. I use them on my upper body press warm-ups and light warm-ups. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing an overhead press and I'm getting starting to approach like a real heavy, heavy set, I won't do it on like the, the, the heavier ones. But anything, let's just say anything that's uh, 50% of my 1RM, one, 1 rep max and lower, I use these on. So bench press especially. I might do a warm up with the bar, and then a warm up with 40% and a warm up with 50%. Alright, with these on. And then the rest, maybe even 60%. The rest I'll go with just the regular 1 inch uh, Olympic bar. Doesn't sound like much, but when you stack that up over the course of a lifting career, you know, <laughs> let's say let's say you bench uh, once a week, uh, once a week every uh, for for year. It's fifty. It's fifty-two bench sessions a, a year that you are getting experience through a two and a half inch uh, grip. If you add in overhead presses, maybe go a little bit lighter. Maybe don't go up to sixty percent with that. Maybe just when just if you just do the bar, just your first set. Maybe do, just get the motion down. Have the uh, have the fat grips on there. Just gives you extra recruitment. You're going to have more uh, take care uh, take care of it. You're going to have uh, more recruitment. The concept of uh, irradiation, basically creating tension that starts with your grip, that works all the way down through the through the uh, triceps and the biceps and the shoulders. It creates more overall tension, strength, and, uh, and 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 hypertrophy, muscle gain as well. So by doing just 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 do, throwing this in the, in your warm up during the light phases, you're gonna you're gonna experience maybe not the same amount of benefit, in fact almost certainly not the same amount of benefits as doing direct, direct grip training days or, 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 or sessions, but you're still going to be getting a great, great little extra bang for, uh, for, for really no effort at all. Alright, <clears throat> secondly, uh, I'll use these on exercises like, I, I did this, I, there was a client I had who was really kind of lacking in grip in one of his hands, he just had a, just a weaker hand due to some shoulder issues. And um, he also has uh, some, some hamstring issues. So we're uh, kind of working on uh, lower back stuff. So working on like a, a modified death march 
where you have uh, have light weights, but to pull them into the into the stretch, kind of work the hamstrings, kind of an active. I, I won't. This isn't a depth march video, but something that where he's only going to be holding like five, 10 pound dumbbells, maybe 15, maybe 20. Um, so I just throw some fat grips on there and it's not a huge difference. Yeah, he's getting a little bit of burn, but the still focus is, it's, it's still easy enough where the focus is able, he's able to put it, you know, on the hamstrings and, and, and core recruitment and things like that, which is what we're, what we're taking, uh, what we're working on. So the whole point of it is if you use it for exercises that aren't going to rob from the main muscle groups that you're trying to use, but just add that little extra touch, you're, you're able to strengthen your grip without even trying. And since then, I mean, his grip has gone up tremendously. It's also helped add like heavy crock rows and things like that into it. But you know, you can throw these on like a, uh, if you're doing uh, uh, lat pull down, same thing for the warm ups. Uh, same thing, or maybe you're going for, for heavy reps, burnout set, lightweight, great, add these, throw these on there. So there's a million different ideas, a million different uses. <laughs> You can have for those, but that's just a couple. Hopefully, uh, you can use that, run with it. Like I said, under 40 bucks, one of the greatest investments you can make. Throw them in your gym bag, go to town. They're awesome. All right, guys, uh, Rob Shoecraft, Three Storm Fitness is my channel. It's a cricket the size of my hand. I'm gonna... Stupid things. All right, thanks very much uh, for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my videos. You have a great day. Bye bye.